two colleagues in an office were having a very heated discussion. See, there's change in expression. They were verbally attacking each other. Now this change in expression is a very fast process. Well, this is initiated by the neurons. Neurons are the fiber-like structures that connect the entire body. These neurons carried the information to the brain. The brain processed the information and sent back the responses to the different parts of the body like the facial muscles and the facial muscles caused the change in expression in the two men. Now the fight escalated. Both the men became red in the face and they were sweating profusely. Now these two effects came in later. It was a slow process. Now why was it slow? Or who is responsible for these effects? Well, we'll see. So just like a satellite broadcasts a message and there are many receivers on the earth receiving the signals. Similarly, there are special organs or cells in the body that give out chem body that now just like the neurons carry impulses directly between two points, these special organs, they secrete the chemicals within the blood vessels present inside the organs. And the chemicals are then transferred to the different parts of the body and it is a slow process. Hence the effects were slow. So these chemicals are transported via blood. Hence it is a slow process. Now just like these chemicals were responsible for the redness in face and also the sweating in the two men, similarly these chemicals also cause the enhancement of chemical reactions in the target cells. See, these chemicals are transported via blood and they enhance chemical reactions in these target cells. Hence, these chemicals are known as hormones where horm means to excite. Now, let us see the characteristics and functions of hormones. Well, firstly, Hormones are secretions of ductless endocrine glands directly into the blood. These hormones are secreted in extremely minute quantities in the blood. They may be made up of polypeptides, proteins, amino acids or steroids. Hormones help adjust and restore the homeostatic balance in the body. Well, homeo comes from the word constant. And static means stability. So homeostasis is the process of maintaining a balance in the body. Now one way by which hormones can maintain homeostasis is by secretion of insulin and glucagon from the pancreas. Well, these are two hormones which, are, which functions opposite to one another. While in insulin helps in decreasing the blood glucose level, glucagon does the reverse. So insulin and glucagon work together antagonistically to maintain the, a constant level of glucose in the blood. And thus homeostasis is maintained.
hormones have a specific function. That is, responses formed in the body because of a hormone will not be induced by another hormone in the body. And finally, hormones' actions are distinct. They might be secreted in one place in the body, but their actions are widespread throughout the body. Now the hormones are released or secreted by these special organs in our body, which are known as glands. A few examples of such glands you, which you might have heard about are the thyroid gland or the adrenal gland. Now there are certain glands in our body like the sweat glands present in our skin or the lacrimal glands present in our eyes that secrete their products through the ducts. Now these ducts carry these products to the body surface. Now there are also glands in the body like the adrenal gland which does not have any ducts. So it has to secrete its products into the blood vessels present in the gland. And these chemicals are then transported to the different parts of the body via the bloodstream. So these kind of glands like the lacrimal glands present in the eyes that secrete their products directly into these ducts and these ducts then carry it to the body surface are known as exocrine glands where exo means outside and since these glands like the adrenal gland they do not have any ducts into which they can pour their secretions so they secrete their products into the blood vessels present within these glands. So they secrete their products within the glands and hence they are known as endocrine gland where endo means within. So endocrine glands secrete hormones and together they form the endocrine system. Now why do we need an endocrine system when we already have a nervous system? Both of them perform the same work. They give a response to a stimulus. The nervous system acts like a postman who delivers letters from person to person. But endocrine gland is like a satellite. It broadcasts a message on a huge scale. Like a postman delivers letters at specific addresses, similarly, the nervous system is very specific, limited to a small area. But a satellite broadcasts the messages throughout the area, that is, at a wider field. So similarly, the endocrine system also has responses throughout the body. Now the nervous system causes response in a limited area. Let us see an example. Now when a mosquito bites you, the neurons carry the impulses to the brain, the brain processes the information and the responses are sent back to the same place via the neurons. So the response is limited within this short area. But in an endocrine system, suppose there is a gland over here. Now this gland is secreting hormones within the bloodstream. And the bloodstream, you know, is a fluid connective tissue which connects the different parts of the body. So, 
the blood stream carries the hormones to the different parts of the body. So the response is generated throughout the body, unlike in the nervous system where it is limited in a very small area.